With all of the discussion around third-party DLC, I think that we often lose sight of what Smash Bros really started as, a celebration of Nintendo's best and most notable characters over the years. Taking icons like Mario and putting them against characters brought to fame from Smash has been a mainstay for the series. So apart from all of the third-party DLC discussion, I want to give some love to some of Nintendo's less talked about first-party characters. For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to exclude assist trophies from this list. I don't really think that assist trophies disqualify a character from DLC, but I want to make an entire video that I'm going to dedicate to assist trophies that I want to see brought to life in a week or two. So let's get into it. The Donkey Kong series is one of Nintendo's most important franchises. Apart from modern day sales, Nintendo owes a lot of who they are to Donkey Kong, as it was one of the first big games that got them on the map, back when Nintendo was switching from selling playing cards to creating video games. There is no doubt that Donkey Kong is incredibly important to the company, and we have a solid three reps from the series, but if Batman comics have taught me anything, it's that things only get better when you bring in the Bat family, or in this case, the Kong family. Now, Dixie Kong is a really popular choice and obvious pick for this slot, but for the sake of keeping things fresh, I'm gonna throw in the name of another family member who could really use some time to shine. I want Cranky Kong to join the battle. Despite his appearance as a cameo in Jungle Japes, I think that it would be fantastic to have him burst into battle. One of my favorite tropes within media is having an unassuming character secretly be able to kick butt, and I think that Cranky Kong fits the bill entirely. We've seen him playable in Donkey Kong Tropic Freeze, and I think that he could have a really great moveset. Cranky Kong would be a fabulous addition to the roster. Now when we talk about notable series that need more representation in Smash, we can't forget about The Legend of Zelda. I've made it no secret over the course of my channel that Impa is my most wanted character, and I've mentioned the concept of incorporating the four champions into a single character slot, but for the sake of keeping things fresh, I want to talk about another recurring character who would be a great fit, Tetra. Now I get a lot of people saying that they'd like Toon Zelda, and while this technically counts, I think that keeping the pirate form of Tetra would be the coolest way to handle things. Tetra started off as a terror of the sea who immediately demonstrates her prowess at flying, but after meeting Link, we see how resourceful, determined, and capable that she is as a character. Despite her biggest role being in Wind Waker, she also makes recurring appearances in Phantom Hourglass and in the alternative canon of Hyrule Warriors. She also makes minor appearances in Four Swords Adventures and Spirit Tracks. I would love to see her sail her way into Smash Bros. In 1984, Nintendo struck gold when they explored a new genre of video game that ultimately saw a lot of success with Excite Bike. Shortly after, they found even more profit with the game's successors on the Nintendo 64, three Wii games, and a 3DS game. The star of this game is the Excite Biker, a fast-paced motorcyclist who is determined and stylish. I'm not exactly sure how she would play, but I think being a spiritual successor to Captain Falcon would be an awesome way to do it. She could either incorporate her motorcycle into her moveset, or just keep it as a final smash. The game is notable enough in Nintendo's history that it would make a lot of sense to include her in Smash. Speaking of notable series in Nintendo's history, wasn't the DS era a little bit weird? I mean, sometimes people created videos that worked with the gimmick of the touchscreen, like Pokemon Rangers, while others decided to just make a game as normal without worrying too much about the touchscreen, like Mario Kart. And then there were the educational games. This genre of game is really weird, but I think people wanted to use the Nintendo DS as an intelligence booster of sorts. And among these games were Brain Age and the much better named Big Brain Academy. These two games were both developed by Nintendo and obviously sister series to each other. They both individually are among the top 100 best-selling games of all time, and they were both really big hitters for Nintendo's handheld history. One of my favorite characters that they could represent from the series would be the professor from Big Brain Academy. When you look at sales, this would be the next big Nintendo character to include. I'm not exactly sure how he would play or what his moveset might look like, but after seeing characters without an obvious moveset adapted into Smash, I really don't think that moveset would be an issue for Sakurai and his team. The Professor would be a big brain pick for the game. Before I get to my final pick, I want to give three honorable mentions. Isaac, Rex, and Bandana Waddle Dee are characters that I think are very cool and would be likely to come to Smash in my opinion. That said, I haven't played any of their games very much personally, and so I don't have a great connection to the characters. I want to be passionate about the characters on my lists, and I feel like I wouldn't be able to do these characters justice. So so for the sake of keeping my predictions authentic, I'm sticking those characters here as an honorable mention. My final pick comes from a franchise that used to be really popular and sold really well actually, but has since fallen into obscurity. Custom Robo is a really cool, very solid franchise, with innovative gameplay that revolves around using robots of your own creation in battles to progress through the story.
story. The story is an epic quest to overthrow evil corporations and save the world. After five entries in the series, three of which being Japan exclusives, the series saw its last game come to the Nintendo DS in 2006's Custom Robo Arena. The breakout star of these games is the Ray line of robots, with the most iconic design being Ray Mark III. I think that Ray would be a super cool addition to the game. With guns, rockets, jet boosters, and more, I think his design would really stick out and his gameplay would probably be pretty original. I'd love to have him in the game and potentially revive his series. If you liked my list, please let me know by hitting the like button, and honor these first party characters by having a hit the subscribe button party. Woo. Leave a comment and tell me who you want to see in the DLC. But if you want to see my thoughts on who I think the top 10 most likely characters for the DLC are when considering both first and third party, click the video on screen now. Stay smashing.